Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the MySQL server and we're going to initialize a database and I'll show you how to connect to it locally through the CLI and a graphical user interface. So let's get into it. All right, so we're first going to start at the MySQL website and we'll go to downloads and scroll down to the community downloads. Then we're going to go to the community server and here are all the different versions. So if you have an M1 chip, you're going to want to download this one. Otherwise, do the x86 64 bit. So I'll just download that and not create an account. And once this is ready, we'll open it up and start the setup wizard. OK, now that that's downloaded, I'm just going to open it up here. Just double click on that and it'll open up this window here that you guys can't see. Okay, so we're gonna allow it and click continue, continue again, we'll agree to it, install it, and then you're gonna need to enter your password. Okay, uh, you're gonna wanna click next here and then this is gonna be the password for the root user. So you guys can type anything, I'm just gonna do password and we'll click finish and then enter our password one more time. Okay, so it downloaded successfully and we'll move the installer to the trash. And now let's start up our server. So you'll see that um, it got installed and you'll see it in the system preferences. So you'll just open it up in the corner and this green light here shows that the server is running. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is initialize a database. So we're going to enter the password for the root user and mine was password. Click OK. Enter your password again. OK, so now that that's initialized, I'm just going to untick this. I don't want it to be running when my computer starts up. So let's just start the server. Oh, man. OK, so now that that's running, we go back to the docs, you'll see that the MySQL program got installed at this directory. So let's just copy and paste this and we'll go open up a terminal and we'll just invoke the program like that. And we're also gonna pass some flags to it. So dash U and that's gonna stand for user and then the name. So we're gonna use the root user. And we're also gonna do dash P which stands for password. So it's gonna ask for the root user's password and mine was password. So I'll enter that. Uh, I think I mistyped it. Okay, so now we're in our MySQL server and you could see that by this prompt here. So we could do something like show databases and that'll show all the ones we have. And right now these are all the default ones that the server comes with. So let's create our own. So we could do create database and we'll call it demo DB. And it says, was okay and it was successful. So now we could do show databases again and we should see that here. So now to get into the database, we can do use and then the name. So demo DB and now we're in the database and now we could just write any SQL we want. So we could create a table and I'm just gonna copy and paste. Uh, we're gonna create a users table and they're gonna have an ID, a name and an age. So I'll just enter that. And now we could do show tables and we should see that users table. And now let's just insert our first record. So insert into users, the name and age, and those are the values. And now if we do select from that users table, we should get that record. And there it is. So here's our table and there's our first record. So in here, you could basically write any SQL you want and it'll be executed all on your local database that's running. So to get out of here, we just type quit and now we're out. So the last thing I wanna show you is that right now to use the, that program, we need to uh, execute this directory or this program that's living in this directory. And that's not really ideal to be pasting this in every single time and then doing dash u and all of that. So instead, we want to be able to just type MySQL and then pass in these flags and then have it just work. 
So right now you'll see that that command's not found. And the reason for that is when you try to type a command in the terminal, it's gonna look at your startup file. So I'll just put this here. So this is my Z char C, and this is basically the file that runs when I open up a new shell. And if you're using bash, it'll be your bash profile. So in here, you could see our path. And what this path is, it's a list of directories that your computer looks at anytime you write a command in the terminal. So when we type this MySQL command, it first looks at the bin folder. If it doesn't find it, it'll go to the user slash bin and then user slash local slash bin. And all of them are separated by this colon. So if it looks through all of these different directories and doesn't find that command, it'll say that it's not found. So if we want to add a directory for our computer to search in when we type a command, we can just copy that directory, do a colon, and then paste it in. So remember, this is the directory that the MySQL program lives in. So if we just hit save, and we're going to need to refresh our terminal to get these changes. So we'll open up another window. And now, since we've added this directory to our Z char C, we can type uh, MySQL and then pass in those same options and we should get access to it now. So now we'll just type in the password and here we are. So we could do the same thing. And this is just a lot easier than using that path. And that's pretty much it for the CLI portion. So I'm just gonna quit out of here and then let's connect to the database through a graphical user interface. So I'm gonna be using MySQL Workbench for this because it's free and you guys could follow along with that. So I'll just delete this other connection and we're gonna click this plus sign here, give the connection a name. So I'll just do demo and it's on the local host on port 3306 and that's the default port for um, MySQL. And then the username is root. That's the user we created in that wizard. So we can just do okay. And in here, we'll just type in the password for our root user. And now we're in the database. So here's gonna be a list of all the databases. So demo DB, and then we could go into the tables and we should see our users table. And if we hit this little grid icon, sorry, it's really small here, I can't zoom in. Uh, you'll see our record here. There's John and age 25. So in here, we can just add records. So we can put, um, I don't know, Bob and age 40, and then we'll hit apply. And this shows the actual SQL that's gonna run. And that should be successful. So now when we get the results, we should see that new record. And we could also delete records and update them and pretty much anything you could normally do in a database, but it's all being run locally and you're not reaching out to any database in the cloud and wasting any reads or writes. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. And in the next video, we'll be using this database locally to build a node and MySQL API. So I hope you'll be looking forward to that. And thanks so much for watching this video. And please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you guys want to see anything next in the comments. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.